David 3D Scanner Tutorial 3 Calibration In the previous tutorials, we have adjusted the projector and camera to the object that we want to scan. Now we need to calibrate it, so that the David software learns the exact scanner configuration. Only then it can create precise scan data. As a reference, we use these 90 degrees calibration marker boards or panels, which are precisely manufactured and known to the David software. Choose the pattern size that fits to the object that you want to scan. The pattern should be larger than the object, but no more than twice as large to get the best results. Set up the calibration panels at a precise 90 degree angle and place them in the scan area in front of the scanner, at the same distance as the object before. You can also move the whole scanner and place it in front of the calibration corner, but keep camera and projector fixed with respect to each other. Now the calibration pattern should be placed where the pattern projection and the camera view meet at a distance where both are well focused. In the David software, open the calibration menu and enter the correct scale size of the calibration pattern you are using. Now it may be that the calibration panels are much brighter than the scanned object, then the sine waves will now be distorted. Decrease the projector brightness setting temporarily to get clean sine waves that are not cut off. You are now ready to calibrate. Please check once more that the setup is correct. That means the projector illuminates a good portion of the calibration pattern, but not much around it. The camera image is filled with calibration markers completely. It does not need to see all the markers, but at least the six rings. And the camera, of course, looks at the same region that is illuminated by the projector. If necessary, move the calibration corner or the whole scanner to meet these conditions. When everything is fine, click Calibrate and wait a few seconds. David will now calibrate the camera using the black markers. Green crosses indicate a correct calibration. Then David will project a sequence of stripe patterns to calibrate the projector. As a last step, David will project different colors to perform a white balancing for true color texturing. After a successful calibration, your scan is optimized and calibrated for your scan object and can precisely scan surfaces at the distance for which you have set it up. You may now move and tilt the scanner as a whole without losing the calibration. You can also close the David software and restart it later. It will save and reload the calibration automatically. However, if you move the camera or projector separately or change the focus, the calibration will become invalid and you will have to do it again. So if you need to scan a different object size, you should adjust the setup and repeat the calibration procedure. That's it, you can now perform scans. Scanning is very easy, as you will see in the following tutorial.